everyone, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a vlog still, but I'm going to do a little bit of a narrative here because um, I didn't really do any clips where I was just like talking like this. I was just kind of um, filming it all and taking it in and then I figured I would do a voiceover or do this. This is all about when I went to see the CK Rangers with my husband this past weekend. Um, my husband's name is Luke, so when I say Luke I mean him. Um, but we went this past weekend and we went to see them in Kalamazoo on Thursday night and Grand Rapids on Friday night. Um, and I'm going to get into that. But I'm going to start off with just last time I had a vlog up saying getting ready for the concert. Uh, I left off when we were rolling into Kalamazoo, so um, we left our home, our home and then we got there after a little while and um, we went to Bell's Eccentric Cafe. I have my wristband here. I actually took it off, but I was able to put it back on still. Um, but anyway, first of all, I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's what that looks like. Uh, my friend Bethany and my other friend Anna were coming along with us. Um, they were, well, I mean, not with us in the same vehicle, but they were coming to the concert too. So we got there a little while before they did, before the concert as well. So we decided to eat dinner there. We got burgers. They were really good. Actually, Woody Platt, I think he has family there. Um, we talked about it before with him, but I don't remember exactly who it is or whatever. But anyway, so he was sitting nearby with his family, or he came up after a little while to talk to his family. Um, it was really funny just that he was there. Um, talking to his family, but anyway, so then we went to, we had, the concert was in the back room, and so, um, we went out into this, like, hallway area, the atrium, whatever, um, got our wristbands, you know, showed them our tickets, and then we got ready, went into the concert, um, and I'll show you guys, so I'll show you guys, um, or you'll see the clips here, but basically, we got, like, front row, um, right up by the stage, there were no seats, so you just, like, were there, Luke got this hat, and then we got our spots up there, we waited for our friends to show up, and then we enjoyed the concert. Yeah, someone's gonna walk on stage right as I'm filming it. Right at the end, they usually do an encore. We cheered, you know, clapped for them and like yelled and stuff when they went off stage. And they usually come back out for an encore, but they came out and they said, Sorry, no, we really aren't coming back for an encore. We they're shutting us down, we can't do it. And so they started to walk off the stage. I forget who said that, if it was Graham or Michael Gino or who. But anyway, um, then the rest of them start coming out and they're like, turn the lights off, turn the sound off, like turn it all off. And, uh, but they ended up doing an acoustic version of their song Shenandoah Valley. Um, and it's a really good one and they did it, um, yeah, ac acoustic, yeah. <laughs> so they are amazing. Um, my friend Bethany was freaking out. She loves the fiddle player, Nikki. Um, so he was like right there in front of us. Um, I keep looking down, by the way, because I'm watch I'm looking at, like, the clips. And we left, and we went to a hotel. So the next day, I did a little hotel room tour, and I'll show you that right now. We got like a continental breakfast and then we went back to our room, got our stuff and we checked out and is that continental or complimentary? It's complimentary breakfast. And then we went from there and we were like, well, what do we do? It's 11 o'clock and the concert isn't until 
the fe it was like we're a festival kind of, so the festival started at 5, but the Rangers didn't go on the stage until 8.30, so we're like, what do we do? So Luke actually went to Calvin College in Grand Rapids for his first year of college, um, so we decided to go tour, um, and by tour I mean drive around the campus. <laughs> we went to the Ecosystem Preserve, which is where Luke spent a lot of his free time, he just liked to walk around there and stuff. So we went there, and I don't remember if I got any footage or not, I don't think I did. And then we were like, what do we do now? We want to do something cheap or free. Um, we ended up doing something cheap instead of free. And we went to the, we had a lot of time to kill still. It was like noon, I think. And then once again, we had like five hours. So we were like, what do we do? So we ended up going to the John Ball Zoo. Um, here's my little stuff right here. So we went to the John Ball Zoo and um, they gave us this map. And it was just a really cool um, experience. And I really like their zoo. I will do a montage of all of that stuff. It'll be like the biggest part of this vlog probably. Actually, not really before we knew it because after the zoo we ended up um, we went to Target and like just a local Target and walked around and looked in the store to kill time and we were gonna go to Chick-fil-a and then Luke was like hey we have this gift card to Texas Roadhouse why don't we go there which is funny because we went to the Newark Ohio show um, back in February we went, to we went to Texas Roadhouse beforehand and I went and saw the Rangers so we went to Texas Roadhouse and we saw the Rangers um, we went to the second concert um, it's actually like a festival. There was like a tent. It was at Perrin Brewing Company, and it's this was all um, a Candidate Foundation festival fundraiser um, to help raise money for kids. They give bikes and instruments and just help kids out. Yeah, we got there, and it was really cool because we were parked really close to the tour bus. So we walked out. Of, we got out of our truck, and we saw I think it was Mike Ashworth or someone going into the tour bus, and then we um, so we got out, and then Mike or not Mike, <laughs> and then Graham was walking up with his banjo and so he sat it down by the bus and he came and talked to us for a little bit which was really cool because we saw him the night before told him we were coming um i don't know this is a weird detail but like we hugged because like, the night before like he like shook luke's hand i think they might have even done a, like a bro hug i don't know what they did but anyway so then this time like the night before like i didn't want to i don't know it's weird to shake hands with people sometimes to me like how you go like, it's just not like a how you doing kind of thing it's like a it's too businessy. Like there was, it's just like a casual thing. And so anyway, we hugged, and then uh, that was just kind of cool to me. I'm like, he's like a Grammy award-winning artist. Like he's married, I'm married. I'm not saying this in a weird like I have a crush on him way, but just like it's cool. Like how neat is that? And so anyway, we we're talking, and 
we got there, we realized we didn't have folding chairs and we should have brought some, so we actually left, went and got those and came back. We were like frantic, we were like, ah, we should just go get chairs now, like, hurry, 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 go. Um, so we did that and then we got back and we chilled and watched the, them play. Actually, so there were two bands before, and while we were watching one of them, I noticed that Barrett, who we had not talked to much then before, um, at the first concert, he was sitting right in front of the sound booth, which we were sitting like next to the sound booth, so he was sitting right in front of it and eating lunch, and then when he went to get up and leave, he like noticed us, and we had, we had our ranger swag on, um, Luke had his hat on, I had the other hat that we have on, Luke was wearing a t-shirt, um, one of their CPA ranger t-shirts, and I think he probably just recognized us, because we were in the front row the night before, right in front of him, so anyway, um, he came over and talked to us, and we talked for a long time, we hadn't talked to him much before, because the last concert we saw him at in Newark, Ohio, it was like a few weeks after he started playing with them, I think, or like maybe a month or two, but not very long, and I was just like, hi, nice to meet you, and that's like all I said, so this time we talked to him a lot, and we were like, yeah, we really like this song that you do, it's like a, kind of a gospel song, it's like, it's actually called Brothers and Sisters, it's by Jerry Garcia, um, and he was like, oh, we're doing that tonight, and we're like, sweet, so I'm gonna leave off this video with some of their footage from the concert, and then um, a clip of that song, and I have the full song up on my channel as well, you can check it out. But anyway, we had an amazing time, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog, and yeah, so anyway, we had a great time. Uh, check this band out if you like folksy, bluegrass, progressive bluegrass, <laughs> they are an amazing band on their own. So check them out, I hope you enjoy this vlog, thanks for watching, bye. Sisters and my brothers to keep the faith. Cause when the storm flies and the wind blows, I go on at a steady pace. Cause when the battles fall and the victory is won, we shall all shout together, we have overcome. And then we'll talk to the Father and the Son. We we'll make it to the promised land. Come on and walk together, little children. We don't ever have 